Hey YouTube, Big North with Chili Head. Happy Spicy Saturday. I am back once again with another hot sauce review. And boy, have I got a fiery little number for us today. Once again, we are featuring a brand new company which we've never featured before on the channel. And I cannot believe it's taken me so long to check these guys out. This is one of the most local hot sauce producers to where I live. I am, of course, talking about none other than the Norfolk Chili Farm, a company which I've heard lots and lots of good things about. Run into them a couple of times at various little local chili festivals, that kind of thing, but never actually got around to trying any of their sauces yet. So really, really excited to be trying this one. And this one is gonna be fiery. This is their Norfolk Napalm ghost chili sauce. And I'm hoping that the camera will focus. There you go. And doesn't this look awesome? You've got that very ominous uh, flaming naga at the top there, you've got a grinning devilish little chilli at the bottom there and various um, skull and crossbones and warnings all over the bottle so um, yeah I'm expecting this one to be a little bit spicy let's check out the ingredients first of all shall we uh, we have got sweet orange peppers sugar and mango so I'm guessing that's where a lot of the lovely orange colour is coming from on this one uh, we've also got apple ginger salt habaneros and ghost chilies um, so really really nice sounding ingredients there we're going to get some fruitiness hopefully from the apple and the mango some spiciness coming from the ginger and then of course I'm guessing pretty damn hefty whack of heat from those habaneros and the ghost chilies um, so it's going to be really interesting this one. Uh, this one. It says our sauces are handmade in small batches using chilies from our farm in Norfolk. This is one hot sauce that's not for the faint hearted. Uh, made from naga, ghost chilies and habanero chilies, full of flavour but packing a real punch. It's great as a table sauce, marinade or add a splash to sauces for that extra kick. And you can check out the Norfolk Chili Farm at Norfolk Chili Farm uk, and I'm sure they're on Facebook and um, uh, Twitter and all that stuff as well. So I'm giving this a good shake. Um, you can probably see it flows really, really nicely, but you can tell that there are lots of chunks and fleshy bits in there, probably coming from not only the chilies but the, the fruit and the sweet peppers as well. Um, so this is looking really interesting, and it's a lovely, lovely vibrant fresh kind of orange kind of colour so um, it's looking really nice uh, right so I am slightly scared as I am whenever I do try a, a naga sauce but I'm sure it's gonna be great oh god yeah oh wow it's really really strong with the nagas on this one boy I can totally smell those chilies <laughs> uh, I've got a feeling this one's going to be hot. It's not an overly floral aroma, but it's definitely a very pepperish, chilliish kind of aroma, and that's dominating everything else. So there is a, a sweetness in the background there, but mostly all I'm getting there is heat, 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 heat. Oh my goodness. Right. This one is going to pack some heat, guys, and it's been a, quite a while since I've done a really properly hot sauce so um you know I've had a lot of mild to medium sauces uh, recently so uh, this is going to be interesting so uh, pause very uh, easily as you can see so slightly scared about this one now down the hatch hmm Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a builder. A bit of a builder. It lulls you into a bit of a false sense of security at first. Um, initially, you do get a really, really nice um, peppery, chilliish flavour. Not overly floral, but definitely strong with it, with the chilies and the pepper. Um, that gives way quickly to a more fruity flavour. I'm guessing probably mostly from the mangoes, but there's a slight sort of hint of a sharpness in the background, probably coming from the apple as well. And then the heat starts to build. And it's not quite as scary as I was expecting. Um, 
but it does pack a nice decent punch. Um, it's got the back of the throat going a little bit, uh, slightly on the roof of the mouth, sort of towards the front of the mouth, um, but it's not too challenging, you know. Um, I had a fairly decent spoonful, um, but the heat is, it, it's, it's the top end of medium for me, you know, sort of a maybe a, around a, a 6 out of 10 maybe on the heat scale for me. It's, um, it's, it's starting to push towards, towards the top end, but not quite getting there straight, you know, just yet. If I had more, it probably would. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's about, it's around a 6 out of 10 on the heat scale for me. The flavour is very nice. I love that fresh, uh, peppery, chilli kind of flavour that you get initially, and it's still kind of lingering around. Um, but it is balanced by that fruitiness, um, which is really great because often you, you can get um, sauces which are just purely chilli and they can become overly floral and pungent in their uh, in flavour but this is really sort of um, nicely balanced by that, by that fruitiness. I've got to admit I'm not really picking up any of that ginger um, you know that, that, that's really struggling to come through but I am getting a nice um, fruity flavour and I am definitely just going to have a little bit more because this is a nice sauce guys um, if you like mango sauces um, and you like them hot, then this is definitely a good one for you. Mm. I love the way that mango sort of a you know cuts through the the chili flavour. It's it, it's it's a really nicely balanced sauce, and probably just the right amount of heat for me. This would be great on poppadoms. Um, Really, really nice way to give your poppadoms a kick um, rather than just your standard mango chutney that you get. This would be really, really great with poppadoms. But yeah, on, on the flavour scale, it's really, really good. Um, I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. You know, with mango sauces, you tend to find that they are really, really strong with the sweetness. Um, but the fact that this one balances so much with the chilies kind of makes it a lot more well-rounded and I really like that. It's got two different kinds of sides to it. It's got the chilli side and it's got the fruity side. And uh, I mean, I know the chilies are, you know, the fruit and all that, blah, blah, blah. But you know what I mean? The, the sweet fruit versus the chilli fruit. So it's really, really nice. And um, I definitely have this quite regularly, you know. Um, it could go with really nicely with chicken, definitely. Um, and I lo absolutely love that. That, that mango smells really really fresh it's it's really really inv inviting um so this is definitely a really good um first sauce um which i've tried from the norfolk chili farm and i've got a couple more to go so really looking forward to trying some more from them so once again this was the norfolk napalm sauce from the norfolk chili farm and i will be checking out some more sauces from them uh very very soon so stay tuned for those Thanks for watching once again guys, I've been Pete the Norfolk Chili Head and I will see you all very soon once again with another review. Catch you all later.